Welcome to Artma and today we are learning the ruler tool in Photoshop. The ruler tool is located under the eyedropper tool and like the rest of the stack its shortcut is I. With the ruler tool I want to measure the length of this rectangle but before that let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna click and hold the left mouse button on the left edge of the rectangle. Press and hold shift on my keyboard to get a straight line then draw the ruler to the right edge of the rectangle. Doing so, the option bar brings up a couple of informations. X is the horizontal position coordinate of the starting point of the ruler. So since we started drawing the ruler from left to right, the left point is the starting point. And similarly, Y is the vertical position coordinate of the starting point of the ruler. W is basically the measured distance over here. W means width. Although this is the length of the rectangle, the ruler considers all horizontal lines as width and all vertical lines as height. And since this is a perfect horizontal line, the height over here is of course zero. If you hold shift on your keyboard and move the ruler with the mouse, the movement will be constrained vertically or horizontally. And of course you can also freely drag and move the ruler anywhere you like. You can also move the endpoints of the ruler, so let me just draw a ruler first. Then I'm going to reposition the right point and then the left point maybe. Also I want to mention that every time you draw the ruler from left to right, the width is going to give you a positive value. So right now the value is positive 5, 6, 7. But if I draw the same width, or same distance from right to left it's gonna give me a negative value and I try to be as close as possible while drawing the ruler from right to left still you see some difference in value so that's all right also you must have noticed that every time I draw a new ruler the previous ruler disappears now let's measure the breadth of the rectangle for that click and hold that left mouse button Press and hold shift on your keyboard and drag the ruler to the other edge. Here as well, if you draw the ruler from top to bottom, the height is gonna be in positive and if you measure the same distance from bottom to top, it's gonna be in negative. And again, I tried my best to draw the exact same distance the second time, but I couldn't. If you want to delete the ruler altogether, just hit clear over here. Next I'm going to talk about angle or A. If I draw a horizontal ruler, there is basically no angle between the ruler and the horizontal axis. Hence the angle is zero. But let's say I want to measure the edge of an object which is at an angle from the horizontal axis. You simply draw the ruler along the edge and you get the angle over here. So this line is basically at an angle of 44.5 degrees with the horizontal axis. Also the angle over here gives you a positive value if you draw the ruler at an angle from bottom to top and that is why the angle value over here is in positive. And then I will draw a ruler at an angle from top to bottom. You can clearly see that the angle value over here is at negative 20.2 degrees. I forgot to mention about the units of measurement. Let me just draw a ruler over here. Now all the measurements over here are in pixels except angle of course which is in degree. How do I know that? Let me just bring up the ruler guides, Control plus R. Then if I go up here and right click, you can see that pixels is currently checked. But if I check on inches, all the measurements over here will convert to inches. You can also measure two intersecting lines and the angle between them all at the same time. First I'm gonna draw a ruler on this edge and then when I'm done I'm gonna bring the tool to the end point of the ruler, press and hold ALT on my keyboard which is gonna give me this angle kind of symbol and then I draw on the other edge. You can see over here the angle between the two ruled lines has been given as 115.1 degrees. L1 is the first ruler, L2 is the second ruler. Length of L1 is 337.29 pixels. Length of L2 is 454.60 pixels. And you can even move the endpoints or move the whole thing altogether. 
Now with the ruler tool you can also align images which according to you is not properly aligned. Like for this image, the cassette is not properly aligned with the horizontal line. First I'll make sure that the image layer is selected over here. Then I'll draw the ruler along the length of the cassette. Then I'll go up here and click on straighten layer. And you can fill up the empty spaces in a lot of different ways which I'm not gonna talk about in this tutorial. Next I'm gonna go over use measurement scale. But before that we'll have to make a measurement scale first. So I'll go up to image, analysis, set measurement scale which is right now set at default. I'm gonna click on custom. Let me draw a ruler along the height of the door. You can see over here that the pixel length of this door is 2477 or 2477 pixels. Suppose that this is the front door of your house and you click the picture and you know for sure that the height of the door is 7 feet. So you can put the logical or the real world measurement or height of the door over here as 7. And as the logical unit you enter feet or FT. So what it's basically saying is that 2477 pixels is equal to 7 feet in this image. So by that relation, every pixel on this image is equal to 0 0.00282 something feet. I'm gonna clear the ruler now, we don't need that. Then I'm gonna check use measurement scale to use the scale we have just created. Let's say I don't know the real world measurement of the width of the door. So I'm just gonna draw a ruler along the width. And since we have the measurement scale set, it gives the width over here as 3.44 feet. So the number of pixels covered here is equal to 3.44 feet. And in this way you can measure the real world values of everything in this image. So if you want to measure the distance between the door and the window, you can do that. It's 3.22 feet if I've drawn the ruler correctly. And this is all I have for the ruler tool in Photoshop. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.